Guys, I don't know how to say this, but Annie has left me. But not to worry, it is only for a week. She has gone back to Spain while I am here in Ireland with Fergus. So while I'm here in the cold weather, the dull weather, Annie is over in Spain enjoying the nice sunny weather. Not good for me. But let's cut to Spain and see how Annie is getting on. Did we actually get you? Hi guys from sunny Spain. I hope Shane is enjoying the cold Irish weather. I'm only in Spain for a week so I will be reuniting with Shane and Fergus very shortly and I'm so excited to go on an epic Irish road trip. But I'll let Shane tell you more about that. So as Annie was saying we are planning on taking Fergus on an epic Irish road trip adventure all along the wild Atlantic way starting up north in Donegal and going walking away all along the coast down to the south of Ireland and we can't wait to explore Ireland because funny enough we haven't taken Fergus anywhere in Ireland hardly uh, apart from Achill Island and our first ever road trip we can watch it up here that's when we had our first breakdown on our first road trip and then we have taken them a couple of spins up and down to Donegal but there is so much more of Ireland left to explore that we haven't in Fergus we have explored more of Europe than we have of Ireland where we live and one thing we want to do on this trip is to bring you guys with us so when we are traveling we absolutely love meeting up with our subscribers we have met subscribers up in Donegal in the Pyrenees in northern Spain in Costa Brava it is so fun and nice to meet people that actually watch our videos so if any of you guys live anywhere close to the wide Atlantic way or anywhere in Ireland in general and you want to meet up Drop it down in the comments and we'll get back to you and hopefully we can make this happen and we can meet up with you along the road. So in this video we just want to give you a little update of what we have been up to over the last couple of weeks. I know we haven't uploaded a video in like two weeks but that is because we have been flat out trying to get Fergus ready for all our adventures and trying to minimize the risk of breaking down. So over the last couple of weeks we have been working relentlessly on Fergus. We have been doing services that included like oil change, air filter, oil filter, fuel filter. We changed the fuel tank because you all know what happened in Spain when we got bad fuel and it clogged up our whole system. Our tank was absolutely rotten so we had to get rid of that. We got a brand new tank that is fitted so hopefully no more issues on that end. We have new gearbox oil, we have new gearbox linkages. We all have videos on that so you can go and check them out. But fingers crossed there is not much more that can go wrong with Fergus but that is famous last words. So as Fergus is getting up on the miles, the clock says 99,000. Now that could be 99,000, it could be 199,000. We just don't know because the clock resets to zero once it reaches 100,000. So the timing belt in this van is marked at 59,000. So that is 40,000 miles since it was last changed. So I think the timing belt is due an upgrade, especially for our plans when we want to go away. We don't want to be stuck somewhere next to the timing belt snap because that has happened a good friend of ours and yeah, it is just a disaster and we just want to minimize the risk of breaking down anywhere let it be in Ireland or in Europe we don't want it to happen because it absolutely sucks and we've had our fair share of it so we have bought an extensive range of parts that we are going to be putting into Fergus over the next week or so well I'm not going to be putting in I do most of the work in Fergus 99% of it but when it comes to serious stuff like this I don't want it, I don't trust myself I want to give it to the hands of a mechanic that he knows what he's doing and hopefully fit the timing belt correctly so we have our new deco timing belt right here we got this here on Brickworks we also have our new tensioner to go with it and I think we have a little oil leak in the like the crank pulley. I, I think the seal is gone in it. So we have we have a bunch. Oh, shit. We have a bunch of seals here, and I think this could be our solution to fixing the oil leak. So when we change this, we need to change the bolt because it's a one-time only. So we have a new bolt, a new oil seal, and hopefully that will fix our oil issue. Now I don't know if you need to take off the rocker cover or whatever to change the uh, to set the timing so I have a new rocker cover gasket I know I only changed it a couple of weeks ago but in case the mechanic needs to take it off we have one right here and we're not sitting waiting on it to arrive so I just want to build up like a gathering of parts that we can take with us on our adventure because we kind of used everything that we have taken with us before so if you have any recommendations on parts to bring with us on a road trip leave it down in the comments and we will buy them and keep them in fergus because 
you never know what you need in this van. Oh, and just one last thing, we got a clutch kit right here. Now, the clutch is fine on Fergus, it's not giving any trouble, but I just wanna have one just in case, and I might even change it before we go somewhere, because as I said before, we don't know how many miles on this van. It could be 99,000, it could be 199,000. So we just wanna be safe and we wanna have one with us. So uh, we bought these here on Vantopia. You can probably see behind me on this tea towel. Vantopia is an Irish company that sells VW parts. So if you need anything for your T3, T25, make sure to get in touch with Vantopia.ie and they will get any part you need and let it be gearboxes or anything like that make sure to check out Vantopia.ie. So we're sorry that this here is not a typical Shane and Annie van life video where we are off traveling in some beautiful place or we are trying to fix Fergus on the side of the road, but we have been busy trying to get Fergus working and making sure everything is good on him. And we found a little rust hole that was only that size, but in these Volkswagens, once you start digging, you don't know when to stop and it turned into probably be that size. So I welded that in myself, got Fergus all sealed up and everything is back to normal. So that is just one thing that we have been doing over the last couple of weeks. And also over the last week, and it has been in Spain. So I've been here on my own and winter van life is just a bit boring when you're on your own, especially, and it gets dark so early. So I'll leave it till Annie comes back, which is tomorrow or when this video is going out live, Annie should be home and then we will head off in Fergus and we'll go somewhere because we have a few exciting plans ahead. And another reason why we haven't really been uploading this last couple of weeks is because we have set up our own social media management company that we take over people's social medias and we create content for them, we upload it, we edit all their content for them. So that has been taking up quite a bit of time over the last couple of weeks, but we were building up something that we can stay on the road longer and we can travel wherever we want and we can still work remote and we can have that little bit of an in income coming in because I know a lot of you guys have been asking us questions of how we fit to Stay on the road and travel for so long and that is just one of the ways that we are able to do this by managing people's social media you can work absolutely remote so that is the beauty of it so we're building that up while we're here so when we head away we have a stable income coming in so if you need any more questions about getting started on how to make money on the road make sure to drop it in the comments or dm us on instagram and also if you're a small business and you're looking for us to kind of manage your social media make sure to get in contact with us and we'll help you out so after changing the gear box oil and the gear linkages and everything Fergus have been, has been driving pretty good so we can't complain on that end. Now I think maybe our gearbox is set up 99% correct. I think we, there is a slight adjustment that we can make. Uh, getting into the gears is fine but sometimes reverse pops out so I think I just need to make a little slight adjustment to fix that there. But we have been taking Fergus or maybe 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers spins and it has been flying so we can't complain on that end but we are excited to get back on the road and get living in Fergus again because it's been a couple of months and we cannot wait for our summer adventures. We've always had trouble with uh, Fergus's speedometer. Sometimes it works, sometimes it wouldn't uh, and uh, there we go. <laughs> that is the joy of having a 40 year old van. A little slap goes a long way from speed. Oh, wish we got to put in the easy start. Uh, we probably done about a 200 kilometer trip. So there you have it guys, that is today's video. Sorry it's not an exciting one, but it's just a little update on what we have been up to over the last couple of weeks. And as always, thank you so much for the support. We are on like four and a half thousand subscribers, which is pretty cool. I never thought that we'd get four and a half thousand subscribers. So thank you so much to everybody who has hit the subscribe button. And if you like these videos, share them with your friends and hopefully we can get to, we want to set a target of 10,000 this year. So if we can get to 10,000 subscribers, that would be an absolute dream. But as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully Fergus has a new timing belt, all the new stuff. So we'll catch you then and let the adventures begin.